Fairfax School District community making their voices heard tonight at the school board's town hall. This comes following a grand jury report that alleged bullying and dysfunction within that group. Now, previous meetings addressing those allegations have been heated, and tonight was more of the same. 23 ABC's Kristen Varton is live in southeast Bakersfield from where the meeting took place tonight and has a recap. Kristen. Keely, people told us tonight they came to this town hall demanding answers and they expressed to us frustration for the lack thereof. That heated response coming from Maria Hernandez at the Fairfax School Board Town Hall Thursday night. Hernandez telling 23 ABC she's been waiting for this meeting for six months. And finally is here. So we're here to have our questions answered that we've been asking for. She and 20 other Fairfax teachers, parents and community members stepping up to the podium in person or virtually to demand answers regarding a few topics, including the Kern County jury report that alleged bullying and dysfunction within the board. And in her hands, Hernandez holding a recall sign regarding trustees Jose Luis Tapia, Amarios and board president Palmer Moland. Tapia wasn't present for the meeting. A few that took to the podium directed questions toward Rios, who along with Tapia threw out a proposed censor resolution regarding Mullen's presidency back in December of last year, according to the report. A lot of stuff was discussed in closed session. It was a public censure. It was available to everybody. So you are allowed to discuss it. It's just that you don't want to. So here's your chance if you would like to elaborate. No comment. One speaker asking board president Palmer Moland repeatedly if he would resign from his position as board president, which was one of the grand jury's recommendations to have him removed. Moland saying that it would depend on the board collectively voting for a new president. But will you abstain from the vote? That question um, will be considered um, for future consideration. That's all I can say. Now, this meeting did start at 630 and it lasted till about 10 o'clock. So all night, it's just been a very heated, heated time. But June 30th is the day that the grand jury recommends the removal of Moland and the replacement of him and the training of a new president. So we'll keep you updated on that on our website. Turn to 23.com live in Southeast Bakersfield. Kristen Varton, 23 ABC News connecting you.